Well, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. We're having a quick cup of go, and then we're heading out to our next destination, location four, Arby Creek. We're now on location at site four. This is the beautiful crystal clear water of Harvey Creek. Now Harvey Creek is renowned for a particular species of blue eye, Pseudomugal signata, the northern blue eye. And the form that is found at this location is actually the largest blue eye in the world. It's really something to behold and we'll show you some shortly. Also in this location is the endangered species of the jungle perch, uh, sooty grunter, and eel tail catfish are also found here. Okay, we're going to set up our first trap. You know, I really love these traps here. It's a uh, basically a dip and pull type setup. Uh, simply got it off eBay. Very, very cheap. Very, very effective. Ta-da! Very effective little net. Uh, only costs around, I think about $8, $10 Australian. Okay, put in some bait. Simply a bit of bread. And I've also put a bit of squid in there as well, just as a bit of an attractant. And ta -da, ready to go. I've just got to put a pole on it now, and then we'll get it straight in the water. Just in front of us, to the right of the centre rock, is the sooty grunter, Hephaestus phalangenosis. Hopefully we'll be able to get some underwater footage of this later in the day.
We are looking at some pretty decent sized specimens of the Eastern Rainbow Fish, Melanotania splendida splendida. Uh, these fish all range around the 3 to 4 inch mark in size. Off camera we meet two like-minded fellow Aquarius, Hayden and Troy. They too are here looking for this popular form of the northern blue eye. We decide to combine forces. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole a whole school right in yeah, front no, of me. Yeah, no, 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 don't touch that, Troy. We're bringing the net in. Yeah. There you go, they're right there. Right in Just front keep of coming, keep right coming, there. keep coming. I can feel something in it. Just keep coming, keep coming. Keep your net down. See how mine's down? Keep it down. And just keep pulling like me. No, no, like this. So you bring the net together. I just want to get the Yeah, yeah. But pull them both together. Yeah, just keep pulling them both together like me. No, 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 pull both together, both together. Yep, at the same time, so it closes the net. Come over this side and right. film coming in the middle. Come towards me now. Come towards me. Come quickly. Hop off the net, hop off the net. Yep, that's it. Alright, grab the bucket. Is it this one? Yep, any. Oh, yep.
until there's none of the poor fuckers. Expiring. Yeah, video How's it doing then? Good. Video over oh, the boy, going yeah. in. Oh, boy. Well, we've just called it a day at Harvey Creek. Uh, as our new friends have had to leave, they have a drive of several hours ahead of them. So, uh, nice meeting you fellas. Uh, we've just pulled in to get a bite to eat and to top up on fuel. Then we're going to head back to Babinda Boulders, which is our camp area. We're going to show you around a little bit. Take some underwater footage at the swimming hole, followed later tonight by some nocturnal spotlighting, uh, seeing what nocturnal mammals we can turn up. Uh, so hang around for that, there should be something of interest.
My son Conan just rescued this common katydid that had fallen prey to the long-armed shrimp down in the creek. Whoa, here we have a massive female orb web spider. Uh, she would be at least 9 inches from toe to toe across on a 45 degree angle. She's huge. Now, this species is capable of eating small birds and insectivorous bats. When is a moth not a moth and a butterfly not a butterfly? When is a moth that mimics a butterfly? What we are looking at is a sleeping day moth, Alcides mataris. Here is the all too familiar and unwelcome part of the Australian landscape, Bufo marinus, the marine toad, better known in Australia as the cane toad. It is an introduced pest introduced by the Australian government. It is a native of South America and it was brought in to protect the sugarcane industry from the cane beetle. The irony is the cane toad lives on the ground and the beetle lives high up in the leaves of the cane, so neither the twain shall meet. This invasive species' full migration across Australia is near complete, which is an environmental disaster as it eats anything that will fit into its mouth and then some. This includes ground bird chicks, snakes, lizards and native frogs that it competes with. On top of this, any animal that in turn eats it is poisoned from two toxic secreting glands behind the eardrums. This is fatal to tens of thousands of native animals each year. This marsupial known as the northern bandicoot took us by surprise charging out of the bush in the pitch black. Everything sounds much larger on dry leaf litter. It is an omnivore, approximately the size of a rabbit. It belongs to the only group of marsupials that actually have a placenta. In future episodes, we get wet. We swim with rainbow fish, blue eyes, and others. Click subscribe and the notification bell to keep up to date. Total Tropicals TV, species profiles, product reviews, collecting in the wild, field trips, retail tours, fish room tours, interviews, unboxings, do-it-yourself tutorials, meet your local clubs and societies, conventions and auctions. Like, share, subscribe.